Hi, in this video I will demonstrate the well diffusion method. Agar well diffusion method mainly helps in the research purpose to check the antimicrobial activity of some plant, leaf or the seed extract. Well diffusion assay is performing in muller hindered agar. Similarly to the procedure used in disk diffusion method, the agar surface plate is inoculated by spreading a volume of the microbial inoculum over the entire agar surface and make the wells around 6 to 8 mm in diameter. The wells are punctured with a sterile cork borer or with the backside of a sterile blue micropipette tip. To perform well diffusion assay, first we'll see the requirements needed, a Bunsen burner, Muller Hinton agar, Petri dish, a needle and a blue 1 ml micropipette tip. So let's start the procedure. First inoculate the bacterial suspension into Muller Hinton agar by lawn culture method. You can see here this plate is already inoculated with the bacteria. Then puncture the well with the backside of a blue micro pipette tip with little pressure. Then slightly rotate left and right. Remove and discard the tip. Mostly when we are removing the tip from the punctured area, the agar also will be removed in that area. But sometimes the agar medium will not remove easily. For that, remove the media with the help of a sterile teasing needle. You can make up to 4 wells in a plate. Once the well is ready, seal the underside of the well with the 2 to 3 drops of melted Muller Hinton agar and wait for few minutes to solidify. Then add the prepared extract to the well. Usually a well can easily hold 100 microliter of the sample extract. After adding the extract to the well, add a positive control disc in the other side of the plate. Then incubate the plate at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius for overnight in an upright position. After incubation, look for the zone of inhibition and measure the zone size and cumbered with the control disc. <laughs> 